Hey there fellow creators, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and I'm back with a quick tip for anyone who's probably going to be selling their work. Or maybe already is. So if your goal as an artist is to one day sell your work, or maybe you're already doing that, or if you just happen to paint a lot, I think it's a good idea to have some sort of inventory list. Now, I've been painting uh, and building my inventory list and adding to it for the better part of the past 13 years. Uh, so after a while you start to be like, okay, I've done a lot of paintings. I have a lot of them in storage, but if somebody's like, hey, can I see that painting? I might want to buy it. You're going to be like, oh crap, where did that painting go? Not only having some level of organization in your storage, but also being able to say, what's the number? How old is it? And maybe I can find a way to you know, get it back through the back catalog. So let me show you my storage behind me. So I do have some limited storage here. Most things are just in piles and in the corner. But one thing that every piece I do uh, has on it is on the back there is an inventory number. This particular one is 40B. Uh, I have technically three different designation codes. There's the first set, which is about 120 pieces. The second set, which goes up to 99. Uh, and those are all Bs. And the more recent set, which are Cs. Uh, and they're all individually labeled as much as I could make them. Some things are haven't quite gotten to the inventory yet. Things that I was going to sell individually, but uh, I want to put it in a frame so that doesn't actually have a number on it. But like 90% of the stuff in here has an inventory number. Now, all of those numbers then uh, correspond to this inventory list. This inventory list sits in my Google Docs uh, account and I can simply kind of just go through it and find a piece as I need to. Now when something sells, I don't ditch the number and reuse it. That would probably be a bit of an issue. So I just gray it out, and that way I know what's sold and for what things. Uh, my other section is uh, it's in storage scrolls that's crossed out. Uh, those are crossed out not to, again, eliminate the number, but to know that I actually have to do a little bit more work. There's additional things like I need to reframe, reframe or repair a piece, or uh, it's unframed or, or, or um, uh, unwired, in which case that uh, indicates to me that I need to do work prior to selling it. But again, there's a lot of pieces in my inventory since I've been doing it for a while. The, the oldest ones in here, I think date back to 2010, uh, something like that. Some of them may be a little older, but that's sort of what I'm sitting on this, so probably 10 years, not 13 years, as I mentioned before. And again, all those first numbers, a lot of these in here uh, have little asterisks, asterisks by them just because uh, uh, they tend to be uh, uh, harder to um, uh, deal with than anything like that. So it's like, yeah, I'd have to you know, put a couple of days in to, to get the piece ready for sale. Now the way I set this up is it's all listed uh, by, again, uh, the uh, number designation first. So in this case, we're in down on the B side now. Uh, you know, 1B, 2B, 3B, all the way down. Uh, B goes up to 99. Where we are at with C. I'm a little bit behind on my inventories. I haven't, uh, I don't think I've done anything yet this year, so that reminds me I need to get to that. So that's a 37C, which means I have at least another dozen pieces i got to uh, put in the inventory, and some behind. And one thing I will also do with this is, so it's, it's number, which is, again, designated on the back of every piece. Uh, the title, uh, the, the year that it was completed, uh, medium. I also do a list uh, which is sort of just for me <coughs> that a friend of mine kind of suggested uh, is that I also have the colors of the pieces because a lot of times I'll see a title or a year and I won't know what the hell that piece is uh, but when I see the colors I'm like oh okay I remember that now or if somebody's like hey do you have a certain do you have like a red piece or, or, or something that's specifically uh, really green uh, I can actually go through and search the document and find all of those pieces uh, in order to uh, more accurately grab uh, a specific piece that would follow a certain color scheme. Uh, I've also listed size and price, and price tends to uh, vary a little bit. Uh, tends to go up or down depending on the year. Also can change depending on uh, where the piece goes to. Uh, spe specifically, if I'm going uh, putting it to a gallery that has a higher commission rate, I'll uh, adjust the price so my yield's roughly the same, I don't uh, lose that on a, a higher commission. Uh, but that's roughly about it. That's kind of what I do for my inventory system. 
And when you have uh, the better, a better part of 200 plus paintings in your back catalog, it's really, really important to have something like this uh, in that you can uh, just more accurately go after pieces that you may or may not uh, know where they are or uh, know the title or, or, or things like that. And so when I'm prepping into a show, this is actually a very, very useful tool for doing that. So that's just my little tip for today, is if you haven't already started and you've got a lot of paintings uh, in storage, build yourself an inventory. It's actually really, really valuable. Uh, it really helps out, too. So as always, if you enjoy this video or learn something, hit that like button. Consider supporting me uh, by checking out my art in the description box below and social links. Also consider checking out, if you missed last week's uh, announcement, uh, the official Discord uh, server, where you can kind of learn and grow with other artists. Uh, get, critiques, get, get critiques and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you want invited into that, send me an email. Also available on the channel page and in the description. It may not be in the description box, but it's definitely on the channel page. Uh, get subscribed if you're not already. And this has been Center Block Studios, and I'll see you guys next time. I've also got so many projects that I'm behind on. There's like six on the floor. I started this other one today. I started this one last week paper stuff over there and I kind of want to start another big canvas piece like I just I can't finish anything right now it's ridiculous